Maybe there are lots of creatures like this. Howdy guys, this is Helium Lemon 15 and welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. This is part like 27 or 28, I don't remember. Maybe even more than that, 28 or 29. Living quietly in isolated areas far away from humans. She's talking about the um, sea serpent thingy or whatever it was that we met last time. Oh, I almost forgot. I was so focused on finding out about the Black Shadow that I didn't tell you. L&L Diving Service has finally done it! Done what? We have the largest market share for maps in all of Pelago. It's all thanks to your constant hard work. Yay, I prepared a special bonus for you. Here you go. New item, military fins. What? But I'm not in the military. The maps are flying out of the shop, so we need to complete a new one. I treated myself to a little something. A handbag shaped like a sea pig. Oh no. That's a little tacky. You're doing great, keep it up. Yay. So I believe the next thing in our mission, in our mission to, um, I don't know, get the treasure or whatever it is, we're going to go to this place for the first time in the game. And the story is about to start picking up and start really getting serious and crazy here. And this is, a uh, I don't know. This is definitely the more, most, like, interesting and, like, complex area in the game. I mean, it makes sense, because they put it last. This place hasn't changed one bit in 20 years. The Red Sea, the barrier between Northeast Africa and Ar the Arabian Peninsula, has played a large role throughout human history. And there's a lot of sunken treasure here. It's like a salvager's paradise. If you go northeast of here to the center of the area, You'll see two large fissures in the seafloor known as the Twin Crevices. That's a good word, crevice. It was deep within those crevices that we first discovered the Song of Dragons. The submarine HD-9 should still be down there too. So how deep are the Zahab region depths? About 500 to 650 feet deep. Really? It's that deep? What about the water pressure? I've prepared a special air mixture for our deep dive. I noticed my voices for the female characters are identical. But don't forget, we'll use up a lot more air at those depths. I'm not sure if we'll even have enough time to finish our investigation. And that's where I come in. Your man has another plan. I call this one Operation Air Station. Simple, really. First we, fill the, first we fill a huge tank with a special air mixture. Then we drop it over the side of the boat and down the crevasse. The crevice. If we start running out of air, no problem. We'll just head to the big tank and refill our tanks from it. Oh, I get it, like a gas station, but with our special air. Exactly. Impressive, I know. So what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Just drop off the key, Lee, and set yourself free. Do, do, do a little Paul Simon for the day. Get your everyday Paul Simon. That's always good. All right, blah, blah, blah. Dive to the southern crevice and find the air station. I've marked the location of the twin crevices on your map. Everything is in place. I'll leave it up to you to choose your dive partner. Let's go. I feel confident about this. You should too, because you don't have to do anything. You just have to watch me. Although, I don't know. Maybe you should be stressed that I'm gonna be, that I'm gonna suck because like, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm actually recording this while I'm playing. Anyway, today is um, October 24th. It's one week until Halloween. And um, I'm in a really weird and depressed mood. And uh, it's fun, it's exciting. And I have kind of a lot going on and I'm starting to kind of hate school, and it's fun, so, I don't know, hopefully, like, playing a little Endless Ocean and seeing these beautiful fishies will bring me into a slightly better mood, because, I don't know. Also, in exciting news, I'm starting to buy myself a few games on Steam, and whatever my friend has in his library that he already downloaded, and whatever is, like, free or on sale, so today, Samaros 3 is on sale, 80% uh, off or something like that, like 60% off actually, so I might get that after I'm done recording this. 
True to their name, the twin crevices are a pair of chasms running north-south. I've sunk the air station into the southern crevice. Recommend you start your exploration of the depths from there. Alright. Chasm. Chasm. Spasm. Pierogies. What's up, man? So, um... Yeah. I don't know. There are parts of school that I like. And I'm... I don't know. I don't have, like, a lot of classes with everybody, so I have to kind of, like, just rely on the few classes that I do have or, like, time together in the cafeteria for to even have a social life. But who needs a social life when you can come to your parents' house and play video games? Gosh, I feel like such a... I don't know. It's all good. Life's good. Watch TV. Eat Twix bars. Consume the fake news. Can you hear me? This is John Eric. That's the mighty gray whale. It's an endangered species. It looks like it's covered in barnacle. They take to humans very well, which is why they've been all but wiped out. There are conservation groups trying their best to preserve the population, but offshore oil fields and shipping traffic continue to endanger their habitat. Oh no. The day they're able to live without threat of extinction can't come soon enough. Aww. Yep. This game does a lot to tug at your heartstrings with, um, you know, endangered species and people throwing trash into the water. Some guy on the subway came up to me and gave me, like, a little pamphlet. Something about, like, Hurricane Sandy and, like, protest the something or other so that we do more about climate change. I think that's kind of cool. Climate change is definitely something that needs to be recognized. Inconvenient sequel is coming out. I don't know if that's out already. But, like, I don't know. I honestly just, like, I have so much work to do when it comes to, like, changing my habits and, like, being more eco-friendly. The deeper you dive, the more dangerous things become. Please be careful. Hi. Alright. Zahab region depths. Depth, 570 feet. A world bereft of sun. I love that. These caverns contain their own unique forms of marine life. This includes deep water sharks, so enter with caution. You know what? This is one of my favorite- oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. It's a little dark on the TV screen. It's hard to see right now. This song right now, uh, Last Rose of Summer, as performed by Celtic Woman, always makes me cry. <laughs> or it just like, emotionally shakes me in some way or form. Just the fat- I don't know, I still think it's really funny that they put it in this part of the game at all. Isn't that such a funny choice of music for this deep cavernous air? Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Hold on, let me turn off the lamp in my bedroom real quick. Alright, now there's less of a glare on the TV screen so I can see what I'm doing a little better. Yeah, I mean, my mom brought me, like, a bunch of reusable uh, silverware so that I could take that to the cafeteria. And then, like, I don't know, I just don't feel like carrying around silverware in my pocket all day, so I often find myself just using the normal cafeteria silverware anywhere. Gosh. 
I switched the lamp, but still, like, it's hard to see anything in this place without all the lights off. Then again, there's not much to it unless you, st uh, except the walls and, like, oh, hey, here's some guys. Here's some guys. Hi, guys. So, yeah, I feel like kind of a jerk that I'm not doing enough to save the world, but, like, I don't know. It's New York, like, we're a fairly green city, like, we walk and bike and use buses more than we use cars, so I feel okay about that. It's also, I was just thinking about the fact that, um, uh, I had my lesson with, uh, my teacher, it's like a one-on-one -on -one lesson this morning, and, uh, my desktop background on my computer screen is a picture of like me and like a bunch of friends just like hanging out in the cafeteria we're all kind of being really silly and like my friend is holding up like a couple of like peace sign kind of things with his fingers and uh i'm just kind of in the in the back like leaning into the picture making like a dumb face and I got to tell my teacher like oh that's so and so like he's at this college now uh, and oh that's so and so he's off at you know this college you know they're all in like different states and one of them's in a different country he's in the great land up north don't you know all they have is snow and maple syrup Out for a rip, don't you know? Go for some Tim Hortons. Where, where, where is the treasure? Where is Ina Kleine treasure? Um. So yeah, I'm kind of insane. Also, my ethics teacher is making us read Nietzsche. Or Nietzsche, or Nietzsche. I don't know. She called him Nietzsche. She was like, Nietzsche is peachy. Uh, uh, that, that, was, that was the thing that she said. And it was dumb. But it made us all laugh. And so far we've got nothing accomplished. A hey, pot. Yay. I can sm smoke pot now. Um, I'm about to run out of air and die. I'm probably going to die before I reach the air tank. Although you don't actually die in this game, so don't worry about that. There's no game over. It's kind of like Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland in that regard, in that it's beginner friendly and there's no necessarily a game over. Actually, let's see if we can make it to the air station. Because a lot of that time was just like messing around and and diving deeper and deeper. Okay, and this is a pretty small area. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's right? It's right here, right? What the heck? It's right here, right? Oh, come on. All right. We'll cut back to when I actually make it to the air station. See you guys then. Okay, we're back, and we finally found the air station. Yeah, boy, your air tank is now full. Excellent. This air station will serve as your base while you're exploring down here. You should return here to refuel your tank as soon as your air starts to run low. The submarine HD-9 started its investigation from these chimneys. Well, by chimneys, I mean hydrothermal vents. They're common in volcanic areas. All right, first we must retrace the movements of the HD-9. 
When Matthias worked underwater, he kept track of where he had been by marking the area with metal plaques. Each one was dated so that he'd know where to start his, ne his next time out. Use your multi-sensor to search for metallic objects on the crevice floor. Hmm. Sounds good. Um, let's go for a little longer. See what we can do in the next, like, three or so minutes and then call it a day. New item. Antlia coin? Like my Aunt Leah. Aunt Leah. Barely. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Do a barrel roll. <sighs> you said it. Chimney Forest. That sounds like a Hans Christian Andersen story. Do we want to go this way or the other way? Well, we'll go both ways anyways, because we like exploring. And by we, I mean me. I like exploring. And if there's anyone in my audience that doesn't like exploring, then... I don't know. What's... How do you deal with that? Like, what's your lifestyle? Because I don't know what that's like. Oh, it's another pot. Now I can go to, I don't know, Bard College and smoke pot. Or, I don't know, California someplace. Okay, I'll stop. I don't necessarily like drug humor. I don't know the words, if you can't tell. It's a sad song, though. One of those sad Irish songs, like, you know, the Sally Gardens, like, die. The Sally Gardens, my love and I did meet. He passed something, something. She bid me take love easy. That plaque is dated four days before the accident. This looks like a very long carve. I'm sure he went as far as he could. I'm sure. Alright. So tune in next time, where we will explore a very long carve. Probably tell stories while we explore the cave. Maybe there'll be a cave story. Shut up. See you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.